Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Uh, in comments under my videos, people ask me to explain. Some of them are asking for design. Some of them are asking for to explain how the machine works. Uh, I want to start with the basics. Actually, I will go ahead and explain all the machine if anybody wants to recreate it. Uh, I promised on the last video that I will show you the final product. This is the final screw after it was cut off and machined. Uh, this is my first one that I was trying to cut, but here I got some imperfections, so I decided to redo it. And this was the second one I cut and polished, so it looks quite good. This screw is factory made. It was from my pellet extruder from the first video. And this is the barrel for it. As you can see, you have to have these grooves to be able to push the pellets inside. And this is the also professional made screw. This has a compression. When you when we are talking about the compression, there is a difference between this is where the pellets go in. This is where the melted plastic goes out. So it pushes through all the way here. Here, approximately, it's a melting zone. It started warming up. Here is melting, pushing out. I have a barrel for this too. So, if we're talking about the screw, some people ask me about the electronics. The electronics I used was, as you can see, it's Arduino Mega, nothing fancy, and CNC shield. Actually, it's a 3D printer shield. I installed here some additional radiators to take away the heat. Nothing fancy. Software here <coughs> that I used, it's not CNC software. The software I used here is only uh, what it's called coordinated move. I will explain you why I need it. I have a piece of metal. That's a bar. Sorry, I'm not a professional artist, so excuse for my drawings. This is the piece, let's say, without cutting. So, to make this angle here, this angle here, we have to calculate what length we're gonna cut. What length we're gonna cut versus how many turns we're gonna do. Of course, you have to calculate the width of your tool because it's gonna cut in. Uh, for example, I was using uh, four millimeter, uh, point four, uh, four millimeter <clears throat> tool. So I was doing two cuts, but you have to keep here a wall, this wall. So you have to calculate it. So you have this in place. You have to have a meat. <clears throat> so let's say we have here twelve centimeters. And we want to make it, we want to make it like six turns. So we calculate uh, for the <clears throat> y-axis. It seems like my battery went down. Uh, so what I was talking about uh, for twelve centimeters here. You have to calculate how many steps you need to do this to pass this 12 centimeters and of course you put the direction for the stepper model that I was using let's theoretically say it is 3600 because uh, you have micro stepping because 
the steppers, uh, the stepper drivers as a micro stepping. If I'm not wrong, I was using uh, eight of the steps. And we're calculating how many turns we have to do. And we decided that we're going to make it four turns. Four turns. So we calculate how many steps we need A axis, we call this A axis, to turn on one of the directions that you want to do. How many steps you need to make four turns? Let's theoretically say it's 5400. And <clears throat> with coordinated move, you put, uh, you move them at the same time. So while it's moving on one direction, this spins on one direction. When we reach here, when we reach to the end, the program is automatically knows that he has to go back. So Y axis turns the direction to opposite and A axis turns the direction to opposite. So we move this way. The same 5400 and same Y axis is going 3600. If we're talking about, let's consider this axis as a X or Z, we can call it anyway, that because the tool is going towards the screw closer, after each movement finished, it's just getting closed a little bit with the pause. And when it goes deeper, it continues the same movement. So it goes there to the end, deepens, goes back, deepens, goes back. And to get to the depth that you need, there are many calculations, I'm not going to go in them, how deep you need to do that, because each material uh, that you're going to extrude needs a different calculations. This one was made for chocolate extruder, and this is its barrel, and you can see the chocolate here. It was extruding the chocolate, and it was quite fun. This was the part one. On the second part, I will explain the mechanics of the machine. This was brief explanation. I will put a model here and I will show you how it's gonna run. Thank you for watching. Please consider to subscribe and support me. Thanks.